two times microneedling sessions for 10 minutes weekly and 100 microgram NMN every morning. And of course, I wanted to limit my alcohol intake. Now, what really ended up happening was that I did finasteride about one. If you want to learn a little bit more about how things and second, why I lost my hair, it looks way better at this point. What is up guys and welcome to Alpha Mode at YouTube. It's been a little while since my last vlog entry and I more or less kind of promised people that I would have a new entry ready really soon. So I figured that now was the time to give everyone an update on how things are going with my own hair loss. So if you don't know already, back in December 2022, I decided to start recording my experiences with different kinds of hair loss treatments and track my own progress or well, regress. I started out with pyrolutamide and a few weeks later, I went into a bunch of trouble and had to make a new plan for my hair loss since I was sweating like a dog. I went from pyrolutamide to mega dosing IU584-1 and messed around with a few different setups. If you want to know more about this, go check out my vlogs to get the full scope of my hair loss adventure. So I want to talk a little about what to expect when you start running RU584-1, doing finasteride, microneedling and so on, because the last couple of months has not been a walk in the park in my case. I moved out of my old place, had to sleep on a couch for two months at my friend's place, only to get my new place and realized that I really couldn't find any of my products in the mess that I was living in. Now keep in mind, it is still kind of messy, but I am getting some sort of a weird structure in here. So I couldn't find any of my usual products and not even my finasteride. I actually ended up doing some, well, messy half-assed protocol for the last few months. So my initial plan was to do the following. I was supposed to run 200 mg of testosterone for TRT weekly, use 80 mg of IU584-1 daily before bedtime, 1 mg of finasteride daily, two times microneedling sessions for 10 minutes weekly, and 100 microgram NMN every morning. And of course, I wanted to limit my alcohol intake. Now, what really ended up happening was that I did finasteride about one out of 10 days. My IU584-1 was lost my baggage, so I didn't really get to do that. I borrowed some from my friend because he had a stock also. I microneedled once, but I couldn't find any new pens, so I soon forgot about that. NMN was more or less only taken on days where I had a lot of extra energy to remember to do that kind of stuff and I ended up drinking way more than I used to, which then gave way for me to not remembering taking my finasteride, keeping my things in order and so on. So basically what happened was, I was supposed to crash at my buddy's place, but one week before I moved out of my place and into his place, my buddy was fired from his job. And from here on, I'm pretty sure you can guess what happened and what didn't happen and why I didn't, well, go to the gym, eat probably, keep my routine in check and so on. Instead, we ended up going out partying from the first day I moved in and more or less every weekend um, and some of the weekdays while I was staying at his place because he had nothing to do. So every evening he would bring out some beers for us. So this is one of the things that I noticed. Usually I was able to do my routine very strictly because I set up my place for that kind of stuff. I have my IU584-1 close to the sink before I take a shower, before I go to bed. I use the IU584-1. I have a pill box with my pills for my finasteride and so on. Microneedling equipment is ready to go at my place usually. But when I moved into his place, started drinking and so on, partying, the whole environment I was living in, didn't really facilitate me doing what I usually did to keep my hand checked. So if you struggle with hair loss yourself, it is important to, well, use an old saying, set yourself up for success. And the thing is, when I moved out of my place, I didn't really notice how much I actually had set up my old place for that kind of stuff. I moved into his place, everything is a mess. I didn't get to do anything. I don't think my hairline suffered that much from it. I really just experienced that my old place was set up for me doing that kind of stuff and the new place I was staying wasn't really. And sooner rather than later, 
my whole routine just got messed up instantly. And this is one of the important things if you want to combat hair loss as a man. You have to set up your place or at least be very consistent with your stuff because otherwise it is just going downhill from there. But here we are back again. I'm finally settling in and ready to give it another go with my hair loss protocol. And for those of you who asked about side effects from IU5841, I haven't really been very strict on my protocol, so of course I'm not getting any sides if I'm not doing the things that I'm supposed to. But on the other hand, I have been using IU5841 for several years now, and I still don't have any side effects apart from my scalp drying out and getting extremely flaky, and that sucks. I tried one of the tips from the comment section regarding leaving hair conditioner in the hair for some time being, but it didn't really work out for me that well. So if anyone in here has a tip on how to avoid the flaky scalp, I'm all flaky ears for you. At the end of the day, not a lot has changed for me. As you can see on the pictures I posted, my density is definitely much better than back in January when I had a total meltdown over my hair loss when I quit the IU58841 to test out KX826 instead. You can also see that I have actually taken the picture just around here where I'm standing because I have natural light from my left side and I have a natural dark area on my right side. So you can see my hair natural lighting and in a darker area where there's no natural lighting. So as you can see, Density is getting good. It is not as good as it used to be, but I am still getting there slowly. So I will assume that even though I didn't really follow my protocol for the last couple of weeks, I still have gained some ground since January where everything just went to hell. And my next vlog will be in one week and I have a detailed plan for how I'm going to move forward with my hair loss protocol from this point on. If you are new to androgen antagonist, or if you don't know how they work and you would like to know, then stick around because this week I'm going to do an elaborate video on how stuff like IU58841, pyrolutamine, CBO3 and other androgen antagonists works for hair loss. Guys, that is all I have for you today. You know the drill. Comment, like, subscribe and all that jazz for more content and I'll see you in the next video.